What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? What things should you check during a trip? Name some key steering parts. Hi, this is Barry Brenton. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering parts of Section 2, Driving Safely. This is a very important section. All told, there are 67 questions in this section that you should know and that you should know the answers to. So we're going to go over these. And so let's just begin. We're going to start off with just question group A, which will be a total of 11 questions. So we'll go more into detail about what the uh, sections cover later, but right now let's get started. Thanks. The CDL Manual, Study Presentation by Barry Branton. Section 2, Driving Safely. CDL Manual, Section 2, Driving Safely. This section contains knowledge and safe driving information that all commercial drivers should know. You must pass a test on this information to get a CDL. This section does not have specific information on air brakes, combination vehicles, doubles, or passenger vehicles. When preparing for the vehicle inspection test, you must review the material in Section 11, in addition to the information in this section. This section does have basic information on hazardous materials, hazmat that all drivers should know. If you need a hazmat endorsement, you should study Section 9. Section 2 has a total of 10 question groups covering 23 subsections. The total number of questions in this section is 67. The average number of questions per question group is 7. Group A, 11 questions. This is section 2.1, vehicle inspection. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? Safety is the most important reason you inspect your vehicle. Safety for yourself, and for other road users. Finding a vehicle dispatch during an inspection could save you problems later. What things should you check during a trip? You should check instruments, air pressure gauge if you have air brakes, temperature and pressure gauges, ammeter and voltmeter, mirrors, 
tires, cargo, cargo covers, and lights. If you see, hear, smell, or feel anything that might mean trouble, check it out. Name some key steering system parts. Steering wheel, steering shaft, gearbox, hydraulic fluid reservoir, power steering cylinder, tie rod, steering arm, pitman arm, drag link, steering knuckle and spindle. Name some suspension system defects. Missing or broken leaves in any leaf spring. If one fourth or more are missing, it will put the vehicle in out of service, but any defect could be dangerous. Broken leaves in a multi-leaf spring or leaves that have been shifted so they might hit the tire or other parts. Leaking shock absorbers torque rod or arm, U-bolts, spring hangers, or other axle positioning parts that are cracked, damaged, or missing, air suspension systems that are damaged or leaking, any loose, cracked, broken, or missing frame members. What three kinds of emergency equipment must you have fire extinguisher spare electrical fuses unless equipped with circuit breakers warning devices for parked vehicles for example three reflective warning triangles or six fuses or three liquid burning flares Optional items may include chains, where winter conditions require them, tire changing equipment, list of emergency phone numbers, and an accident reporting kit or packet. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires for other tires? You need at least 4 32nd inch tread depth in every groove on front tires. You need 2 32nd inch on other tires. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during the walk around inspection. Door and passenger door glass should be clean. Door latches or locks should work properly. Continued. Condition of wheels and rims. Missing, bent, broken studs, clamps, lugs, or any signs of misalignment. Condition of tires, properly inflated, valve stem and cap, okay, no serious cuts, bulges, or tread wear. Use wrench to test rust streaked lug nuts, indicating looseness. Hub oil level, okay, no leaks. Continued. Condition of spring. This is for the front suspension. Spring hangers, shackles, U bolts, shock absorber condition. Continued. Front brakes. Condition of brake drums or discs. Brake pad has at least one quarter inch of material. Condition of brake shoe. Condition of hoses. Continued. Con uh, front. Condition of front axle. 
Condition of steering system. No loose, worn, bent, damaged, or missing parts. Must grab steering mechanism to test for looseness. Continued. Condition of windshield. Check for damage and clean if dirty. Check windshield wiper arms for proper spring tension. Check wiper blades for damage, stiff rubber, and securement. Continued. Lights and reflectors. Parking, clearance, and identification lights clean, operating, and proper color. Amber at front. Reflectors clean and proper color. Amber at front. Front turn signal lights clean, operating, and proper color. Amber or white on signal facing forward. What should wheel bearing seals be checked for? To make sure that they are not cut, damaged, or loose and visually see that they are not leaking fluid. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? A commercial driver must carry three reflective triangles in his truck at all times. How do you test hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. If it does, there might be a leak or other problems. Why put the starter switch key in your pocket during the vehicle inspection? The driver should keep the starter key on his person while performing the pre-trip inspection so that no one can start the engine while the vehicle inspection is being performed.